thank you then next oh we are stuck here everybody is stuck at home locked down so as i said uh, in the beginning of my lecture that i don't consider lockdown is a lockdown for our brains for our activities for our knowledge for our reading for learning something new it's not locked down no wherever you are in whatever situation you are you must keep on learning like in this image you can very well see the kind of background she is carrying uh, there is a kind of rusty wheel the wall is not painted even cement is not there but she is sitting on the uh, heap of books to which she feels that she is blessed with and the kind of expressions she has while reading the book in her hand she is completely engrossed in the story or in the book whatever she is reading so dear students this covid-19 corona is going to be over very soon but please don't come out with a regret that we didn't learn anything we had 3 months or whatever the duration would be of this lockdown period please don't come out with a remorse that i could have done this i could have done that the the those particular things please this kind of i could have thing should not be there you must come up as a winner yes you must be having stories to narrate to your teacher to your friends you uh, see i have done this i tried my hands in cooking i tried my hands on reading something new um i learned how to edit a video i learned how to make a video maybe there are plenty of things you could have done there are a lot of online workshops online conferences lot of things are going on you must indulge yourself in these kind of productive activities please don't waste your time so reading the learning thing this learning aspect it never stops it can never ever be stopped by any kind of calamity we learn learn and learn a lot let's see the next one oh here what does this image depict mm, let's see this gentleman he is showing a slide on a huge uh, screen the audience is sitting in front of him and he is maybe he is trying to explain whatever is there on the screen yes here we are going to talk about speaking speaking skills how you are going to inculcate speaking skills in your students how you are going to improve their speaking skills do you have any kind of activities in your minds right now if you have please uh, comment in the comment box so that i should also get to know what kind of uh, speaking skills uh, activities for the speaking skills you have in your mind so speaking skills can be developed through various activities one of the activities uh, is um uh, making groups of your students means making a team let's say you have 40 students or 30 students in your class and you are going to uh, divide all the students in teams and then you assign a task what would be the task they are having an object in their hand let's say uh, in the classroom maybe uh, they see the fan the ceiling fan now you tell them that you have to speak 10 lines on the object whatever you, uh, comes in front of your your eyes for example it's a fan so now they will speak 10 lines about fan here the teacher is not supposed to focus on how the student is pronouncing the words initially we are we should the teacher should not focus on that the teacher must focus on uh, whether the sentences were coherent uh, coherent or not uh, then uh, number 2 the when the uh, student when the child is speaking when the student is speaking the child should not be interrupted in between 
let the child complete his uh, 10 lines and after that whatever the rectifications are required you must go for that all right so speaking skills must be enhanced and it is a suggestion to all of you that you all must enhance and hone your uh, english speaking skills when it comes to uh, target language means the foreign language which in our case in in our case it is english when we try to make our student uh, learn how to speak in english uh, there is a problem uh, just a little bit of it uh, what kind of uh, problem we do the student uh, students face that is the interference of their mother tongue whatever they have heard in their own mother tongue in their mother language they will try to imitate the same that's why i said initially that a teacher must not focus on the pronunciation part because punjabi's accent will be a different one when you go to south india then again the english uh, spoken english accent would be uh, having a tinge of their mother tongue so it's uh, it is there that is why we have created indian english english has been indianized so it is accepted as well so students should be motivated to speak to speak in english to use the words they have in their vocabulary and then reading will be associated with it so that whatever they have read they must be able to speak an eloquent speaker is the one who can have a mass gathering in front of him or her not like this that all the chairs are lying vacant and nobody is there only one person is sitting there maybe waiting for <laughs> maybe waiting for godo and godo will never turn up the speaking skills may be enhanced through various activities first activity is playing a game having an object in your in front of the child and the child will speak 10 or 20 lines or what's have what how many and the number of lines he may speak he will speak on that uh, number 2 the student uh, the group wow, there may be a group discussion as well what will the group discussion do in the group discussion the teacher will assign a topic um and then the students will discuss on that particular topic keeping in mind that they have to speak in english language only so here again the student will learn how to speak uh, at the same time simultaneously the child is also learning how to use the knowledge uh, whatever he has read so reading and speaking we go they are also going hand in hand next okay let's see what does this say hmm can you guess yes it is writing nowadays we have a diary we have a pen and we also have laptop maybe laptop notepad ipad i don't know plenty of things are there devices are there but how to develop the skill writing skills writing skills are there in us so how a student is going to learn how to write first of all remember your childhood when the teacher used to uh, make us write your favorite uh, your favorite color maybe uh, your pet animal and remember that essay of 10 lines uh, the cow or my best friend we used to write 10 lines and there used to be a coherence in those 10 lines and what used to be that coherence one sentence must be connected with the second one the second one with the third and third the fourth and so and so and so forth so writing skills can be enhanced through various activities again so let's talk about just a few of those activities first of all uh which activity okay like the earlier uh, we have 
talked about when we are trying to develop the writing skills give a topic to the student which he or she is already aware of not a new one take the student from the known to the unknown all right so that the student gets into habit of uh, thinking and then writing it becomes convenient for the student if he does so so how would you do that you will tell the student to write a paragraph initially maybe of 10 lines you may also have a kind of competition in your class the creative writing competition um then third thing what you can have is a uh, competition with the juniors uh, and the amongst the juniors and the seniors here we may check which student is having an inclination towards writing skills because writing is a kind a talent as an inborn thing which is there it's only it only can be enhanced it cannot be inculcated so writing skills may be developed amongst the students through various activities <laughs> just read this slide write without fear edit without mercy so whenever you are writing something just write as if nobody is going to read it initially just write whatever comes to your mind keep on writing keep a diary in uh, in front of you or by by your side always so that whatever comes to your mind you should just keep on writing it write without fear but when it comes to editing my dear please don't have mercy on you or whosoever has written it when you are editing it please don't have mercy means you must edit when you are giving the final touch to your writing to your write up so that whenever somebody reads it that person must appreciate it that person must engage himself or herself in that uh, uh, writing whatever you have written so we have covered reading speaking writing along with these i have already told you what is listening and how the listening ability or the listening skills are developed how it is different from hearing hearing listening skills uh just okay let's have just a few uh, just one or two activities or examples how we can uh, improve the listening skills of our students please don't follow the traditional methods only try to mingle the methods the traditional as well as the modern methods the modern technology must be um, amalgamated in such a way that they create a new version of uh, teaching likewise uh, when you talk about listening skills never uh, be afraid of telling your students to watch something which is not in their syllabus to listen to the songs maybe to listen to the news which is being flashed to listen to the radio stations when they listen they will learn and when they learn they will be able to speak if you want to teach them uh, if a teacher wants to teach them a british accent then the channel bbc must be uh, must be suggested to them and if there is some american accent then hollywood movies are there there are plenty of movies based on the novels the plays written by famous writers so it's better to suggest the students that they must uh, that they must listen to the things uh, they must listen to the things and enhance their listening skills and here we are going to thank you uh we i end my lecture here i hope you all must have learned a bit of things little bit of things and uh, if you haven't then kindly comment in the comment box and do utilize this time in 
learning something new i wish you all the best stay at home stay safe and stay tuned with me see you in the next lecture thank you very much thank you students